thumbnail is a straight up lie because I don't have the physical copies of all like half more than half the books all of the books 90% of the books that I'm supposed to read a couple of them are on their way so I'm hopeful Hello people of the world, my name is Visam and welcome back to a video that was not supposed to exist but I thought why the hell not, let's do this. So yes world, I'm gonna take part in my first ever readathon and I'm super excited for it because like I've wanted to take part in readathons for a while but for some reason I've just been too chicken. I mean, I don't understand how my brain works but yeah, I've been too chicken to take part in them. But this one I thought, okay, you know what, um, I'll just do it. I'm going to be taking part in the Stranger Things Readathon, which is hosted by some lovely people in the bookish community. I'm going to be linking all their channels and all their important links below. I came across this readathon on Reading with the Bosses channel. I saw Layla's video and then I saw Connor's video and I thought, I want to do this. Today isn't filming day. Today, yesterday was filming day. So the readathon is pretty fun, it's team based which is something that I really wanted to do. I've always like admired readathons from afar and then I've super admired team based readathons from afar because I wanted to take part in them but I just didn't. But I am team Scoop Stroop because like if anybody knows it's not a surprise. Team Scoop Stroop was my favorite part of Stranger Things, the latest season of uh, season 3 of Stranger Things. I love Steve. I love Dustin, I love Robin, I love Erica, I, I love all of them, I, I love them. I didn't take the quiz though. Let me see what happens. There's a quiz online on BuzzFeed of course um, and it helps you decide which team you're from. So I want to choose Scoops Troop, let's see what BuzzFeed has to say. Okay, are you more Scoops Troop? Griswold Family or Eagle's Nest from Stranger Things. How would your friends describe you? Funny, caring, brave, outgoing, smart, sweet. I would like to think funny. I think all of them say that my jokes are like really bad, but I'm gonna go with funny. Where's your go-to spot at the Star Court Mall? Sam Goody, Hot Dog on a Stick, Orin Julius, Claire's The Gap, Walden Brooks. I think it would be Hot Dog on a Stick. Pick a bitch in 80s track to jam out to Sweet Dreams, Take On Me, Don't Stop Believing, I Have the Tiger, Uptown Girl, Just Like Heaven. I don't know half of them, but I'll go with Don't Stop Believing. Pick an ice cream flavor, chocolate. I don't even have to think about it. Pick an iconic Stranger 3 quote. You can't spell Eric America without Erica. I said three inches, that's my butt, I don't care. I dump your ass, how many children are you friends with? How many children are you friends with? Obviously. Pick something important from Stranger Things. Egos, Bob, Bob. Alphabet wall. Dungeons and Dragons, Steve's bat, Scoops Ahoy. I would go with Steve's bat. I think that's like super iconic. Finally, pick a villain to defeat. The Russians, Billy, the Mind Player, the Upside Down, the Demigorgon, and Mayor Larry Klein. Who will want to fight the mayor? That is so stupid. I would go for... I don't want to fight any of them. I'd go for Upside Down because that's cool. I got Griswold family. That's like my least favorite team. This sucks. This quiz is... Terrible. Anyway, I'm still team Scoops Troop, guys. Like, I still am. I don't care. So, uh, let's just dive into my TBR and let's check out the prompts. So, the first prompt is Dustin. Read a sci fi book, and for this, I've chosen A Spark of White Fire because all my friends have been reading it and I want to read it. And I know that Anandi is gonna kill me if I don't read it anytime soon. So, yeah. And plus, like, I really wanted to read it. It's like a space opera which is based on the Mahabharata, which is an Indian epic war story. I think it's gonna be super amazing from what my friends have said like the characters are super amazing And this is one of the best space operas according to them like science fiction books that they've picked up So I'm super hyped for this guys a spark of white fire number two Erica read a middle grade book I just picked one out like five minutes ago I hope that was a good choice because as I told you guys I wasn't prepared for this I, I was just like I saw it and I was like what the hell I'm gonna do this I have chosen The Serpent's Secret by Shoyantani Dasgupta and I'm super excited for it because this is a middle grade fantasy with Bengali folklore I was um, as I told you like I just chose it so I was going through middle grade books and initially I found one which was shorter but then I saw this and I was like I need this, I'm definitely gonna read this, even if it's longer. So the thing about this readathon is that it is page-based, so you win points according to the pages, which is 
I don't know how I'm gonna do it because like I'm gonna listen to a couple of audiobooks but I do know like I will know the page count so after I finish the audiobook I'll be like okay so so and so pages have been done technically if I choose a thin book I'm actually like not contributing as much my team instead like if I choose a thicker book then I will be contributing more points but anyway the serpent secret I super want to read this book um, I'm so glad that I found it. Uh, if any of you have read it, let me know in the comments below how you found it. Number three, Erica, read a book featuring a sapphic relationship and for this I have chosen Gideon the Ninth. I'm super excited to see what it is because like apparently it has like an enemies to lovers thing going on for it so I'm super excited to find out how this goes down. I came across this one line description of the book which describes it as Gideon the Ninth is about lesbian necromancers in space. Technically, this also qualifies for my science fiction prompt, but I do want to read Spark of White Fire. But I think I'm going to read this first so I can tick two prompts up. But again, it doesn't matter because this is page based. So, the more the number of books, the more points I'm actually contributing. Number four, Steve, read a popular book. Now, for this, I'm going to be choosing, and I have the physical copy, but I'm going to be choosing The Poppy War. This is going to double for my Poppy War read along which my friends are hosting so I'm super excited and of course like this is probably gonna be like the first book that I read because I love it despite ever having read it I don't know how that works but I do <laughs> for those of you who don't know what Poppy War is about what rock are you living under next prompt is USS Butterscotch read a sweet contemporary book and for this I have chosen get a life Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert I have only heard good things about this book. Everybody is in love with this book as well as Take a Hint Danny Brown but I'm going to start with Get Life Chloe Brown. It has been described as sweet and pure and adorable and cute and Chloe Brown has a chronic illness and the whole story revolves around I think from what I can tell in like from the Goodreads description is that she wants to try different things after nearly dying she basically wants to get a life so get a life Chloe Brown I'm super pumped to read this book and the final prompt is Starcourt Mall read a book you bought slash received recently people of the world I have won a giveaway for Raybearer and it's gonna arrive in like around two weeks so Raybearer is on my TBR and I'm gonna be reading it for this readathon it hasn't arrived yet so I've got a picture over here I've heard it's one of the best like books a lot of people have read recently and ever since I saw that cover it's so vibrant and so pretty I knew that I wanted this book and the best part is I am getting a hardcover of this book so I'm so excited. Anyway, so that is my TBR for the Stranger Things readathon, but I'm not done yet. I will also be adding a couple of books that I want to read this month, adding to these six books plus a couple of extra books because I have a couple of read uh, like buddy reads that I am taking part in and also a couple of books that are coming out this month and I want to get them out of the way. So uh, the first two would be The Gilded Wolves and The Silver Serpent because The Silver Serpent is coming out in September and I want to get a review out before it is released. Also, I want to read You Had Me at Ola. I think these three books are the extra books that I'm going to... So in total, I'm supposed to read nine books this month and all of them are thick. Wish me luck. I'm not sure how I'm going to finish my TBR and I've never really done TBR videos before but since this was a readathon plus I kind of know how like what books I want to read this month um, I might actually read another book in the background but I'm not sure I'm scared I don't read more than four books or five books per month and this time I have double the number of books but I'm also really excited so let's see how this goes thank you for watching guys give this video a thumbs up if you liked it don't forget to hit subscribe if you are taking part in the stranger things readathon go ahead leave a comment down below so we can become friends and if you are on my team definitely leave a comment down below and try not to be too mad at me when I finish like three books in the entire readathon. This video was super fun to make and I hope to make some more in the near future.
You can check me out on Twitter, you can check me out on Instagram, you can check me out on my blog, Chronicles of Fantasy Writer. And yeah, I'm done. So whoop, bye.